What's going on ladies and gents, Dalibor here for T3G and welcome to another Tech Monday. Today is kind of the precursor to the first day of CES and I was looking at a few things on the reports and what was talked about already. TechCrunch got to talk to the folks from Miraxas, I think is the name of the company and they are talking about the Mira book and that's what I wanna talk about today and, and kind of the idea of the Mira book in totality coming up. All right, so we've got the actual Indiegogo page. It is, uh, it was 200% funded as of last year. Um, so they got all the money they needed. So it's gonna go into production. Looks like the price tag is gonna be about 250. So the concept here, let me, let me hit the concept here before we get into all the other stuff. Uh, the concept is that you have your cell phone, you know, I've got my Pixel, and I'm gonna hook my Pixel with a cable directly into this unit and it's going to give me a keyboard, a screen, a 13 inch screen. Uh, As people increasingly depend on their smartphones to we'll organize their you. personal lives, it is becoming evident that the traditional computer has been replaced by the smartphone as the main servant of our digital needs. From a simple way to communicate, it became the one device that is every device. Miraxis introduces the Mirror Book. The mirror book is half a laptop, and the other half is in your pocket. It's your smartphone. Plug in your phone and unleash its real power. And that's what I want to touch on right there. The concept here is that you plug your phone in and then you have full access to its full power. Here's my problem with that. I've talked about this before. You should never rely on one device. This campaign runs counter to the very idea that I brought up before on one, on our old show, One Minute Wednesday, that you should never rely on just one device. You should always have backups. This, while being on a utilitary level, utilitarian, I don't even know what the word is, on, on a very practical level, it sounds like an excellent idea, right? It sounds like a fantastic idea. Uh, I mean, realistically, the, the features alone make me interested. Uh, I mean, like purchase wise, you got color choices, which is cool. I think that's a very cool concept, especially with in an age of very gray and well, you know, on occasion, a rose gold here and there <laughs> laptops, uh, you, you having, co having color choices right off the bat is nice, but I want to bring down here to their their actual physical features, right? You've got USB Type-C for charging, so it's very modern in that aspect. You've got HDMI direct out, so if you want to hook up to another display, you have that option. You have USB Type-A, so you can plug in external devices, and then you have a second USB Type-A and the audio jack, and then they also have, I think through either through the audio jack or actually, I don't know, it's really hard to see here in the render. Uh, but they have a, and where did my zoom go? I'm going to unzoom. How do I unzoom? Uh, they have a, a proprietary mount. Uh, I'll show you guys. This is their website. They've got a proprietary mount that I think actually plugs into the headphone jack. So it's kind of, kind of a, like, yeah, headphone jack there. But like, if you're going to use the mount, it doesn't matter. So this is kind of the goal, right? This, this, this setup here is the goal is you have your phone, you get home, or you get to your coffee shop or your meeting, and you just hook your phone up, put it next to it, or you have, if you have the, the little color-coded dock, you can get the color-coded dock, you slide it on there, and then you have full access to essentially Android, but with desktop experience. At the end of the day, when you really get down to the brass tacks, it's, it's a keyboard case. It's a, it's a keyboard case and screen. Now, for the price tag of 250, that's not bad at all. To get a, a 13 inch display and a keyboard uh, with a trackpad and, and an excess battery of its own, that's really cool. That's really nice. I have questions about functionality. I have questions about that HDMI port. Okay, so you wanna hook up to an external to a TV or something. What's handling that connection? Is the phone still handling that? Because now you're pushing video from the phone to the 13 inch display, subsequently to a secondary display. 
I'm a believer in the power of phones, but I don't know if that's really practical. That's that's something that's a little it's a little hefty. I don't know if that's really practical, but that's something we'd have to we'd have to look into once it's out. So right now it's still in pre-order. So it looks like this is their their backer kit, so their post campaign. Yeah, so these are their the docks. They've got these little different color accents and cables. Uh, they do have USB Type C and uh, th Mini Thunderbolt, I guess, is one one of the other cables they got. And again, as far as practicality, it's it's really cool. You've got 2.2 pounds, which is fairly negligible for a 13-inch laptop. Laptop. <laughs> You've got uh, what is it? A to I think it's a total of. Does it say what the total thickness is? 15. Is that folded? That might be the folded thickness. So it's 15 millimeters. It's nothing. It's nothing. Supposedly, they have a lot of uh, compatible phones. However, the interview that TechCrunch did with them did, they did flat out say that it was basically Samsung devices only. So I don't know if that's just the limitation now at the time of you know development, but that just seems weird since they've been funded for over a year and they're, they're, they're pushing for, I mean, they're taking pre-orders. I mean, at some point you gotta have at least support for all these things that you already said you would have support for. Um, it also puts you behind, right? Like all these devices are old. They're talk a lot of their marketing talks about Windows phones. Windows phone doesn't even exist anymore. You know, what's out there on the market is what's out there, but they, they're not making anymore. The LG V20 has been replaced. The LG G5 has been replaced. The LG V34 has been replaced. All of these, all of these devices have been replaced. The S8 is the only one that's current out of these. Uh, yeah, Zenfone 3, the HTC 10, these are all older phones at this point, right? At this juncture. Now, where I think it, com it becomes very interesting is when you get into different OSs, right? Uh, it's got talks of working with Raspberry Pi. Now, that makes it very unique because now you're looking at a completely different setup. Now you're looking at something practical for people who, let's say if you want to run your media center off your Raspberry Pi, if you just need to code, you can just dock this thing. Like a friend of mine is a big uh, Raspberry Pi believer. He's got his, his NASA set up through a Raspberry Pi, like everything. A lot of his stuff is set up through a Raspberry Pi. And this, I think this would be something that would be fantastic for him. This would be great for kids, especially if you want to get kids into into dev. Like there was the, the, the Pi book back in the day. I don't, I mean, I, th I think it's still available, but I mean, that's, it came out several years ago. The Pi book was a really cool idea because you get to build within the actual laptop this would be kind of a nice alternative like if you're not trying to have kids build a laptop necessarily or even not having them build maybe having them program provide the raspberry pis provide the this interface port basically and you'll be able to to just get out the box and go like it's not a lot of work to to get this going from here the other thing is they do have they do mention other os's right besides uh just raspberry pi for instance uh, they talk about uh, Microsoft Continuum, obviously that's going to be the phone, but like Remix Singularity, as far as I'm aware, is an actual OS system. The the Singularity thing is, is as far as I'm aware, not even available yet. So to kind of advertise for it, and even it says Remix OS for mobile coming 2017, it's already 2018. I'm presuming this has not been done yet since it's still advertising for last year. So it, it's very interesting to see like what kind of what kind of advertising they're showing, what their intent is when some of these things aren't even viable anymore. While I don't hate the idea of this, I think there is a practical concept of being able to do more with your phone on the go. It does give you kind of a, a lightweight thing to carry with you. Uh, I, I'm concerned with the relying on one device. I mean, phones do crash, phones do break down. Uh, if something were to happen to your phone and you're running your entire business off of it, or you're running, I mean, heck, even if you're working on a report on your phone, you know, that's due in an hour at your, at your school and you're at the cafeteria, just trying to knock it out and your phone crashes, what happens? You're, you're out, you're done. It's over. That's why I think this kind of symbiotic aspect of it is not necessarily the greatest as far as the physical it's comparative to something like a MacBook. It's about the same thickness. It's about the same weight. It's a little heavier than a MacBook, actually. So, I mean, as far as the, the physical aspects of it, it's it's a comparatively lightweight device. The customizable colors are nice, uh, but again, the actual usage practicality of it 
is what concerns me. I'm very much a supporter of, comp of compartmentalizing everything. This computer is for streaming. This computer is for recording. This computer is for gaming. It does these three things. If I need to edit, maybe I'll, I'll jump into hit film on this computer just to put up some gameplay or something simple. But in reality, this, I'm gonna take this footage that I'm recording right now, I'm gonna put it on the productivity rig over here and because that's all it does. All it does is Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere. Like I, I grind on that. I, I don't grind on this. This is different. Like this thing needs, this is kind of my main and that's where I do work. And I turn around and I move away from this. And then at the same time, if I wanna play music, I have my phone, I have the, the, the media PC that I built in the, uh, the half case, like the, I compartmentalize everything. So like if I lose all my media, I can still record, I can still stream. If I, if this thing crashes, God forbid, if this thing crashes, I can still work. You know, if that thing crashes, I can convert this to a temporary work center while I figure that one out. I have these options. Whereas if you rely on just this and essentially a keyboard case, it's not, it's not really a practical thing in my opinion. But I wanna know if I'm alone in that. If you guys have some other opinions, please drop it down below. I, I would love to know what other people think about this. I see these types of devices. I mean, when the Samsung DeX first came out, they were talking about it with a little dock. Even when the HP docks came out with the Windows phones, I was interested, but again, I kept going back to the, you're relying on this one little device if you get a voltage spike, if you get, I mean, there is just so many things that could go wrong and it's such a tiny device. If the power supply on this desktop blows out right now, I can replace it in 30 minutes because I can run out to a store, pick up a PSU and put it in. If my phone takes a power surge, it's done. It's, it's done, there's nothing else. There is no more life to it because this is entirely electrical. A fan could blow out on this and that's a mechanical, I can replace a fan. Okay, there's no fans to replace on the phone. You know, there's, there's nothing to fix if something breaks. If something breaks, it's all over. I, I don't like the, the dependency of it. But again, I'd love to know what everyone else thinks. Please, down below, let me know what you think of this idea of working, using your phone as a desktop. I, I don't know if I'm into it, but I'd love to hear if you are. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I just wanted to jump on this. I had another video planned for today, but I saw that and I really wanted to weigh in on it. Uh, and I actually might preempt next week's video to do the remix video because I think now it's really relevant and I wanna I wanna kind of talk about it and, and get into it. But we'll see what happens next week. That I'm, I'm not ahead yet, so I'm still gonna work on that this coming week. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Make sure to subscribe if you're new here and thank you for watching again. I will see you guys in the next one.